Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today's video is not gonna necessarily be a step-by-step -step on how to replace a timing belt. It's gonna be more for customers um, so they can see what they're spending their money on um, when somebody tells them they gotta spend $1,000 for routine maintenance. Um, timing belts are typically quieter than timing chains. Um, chains are, are, are usually maintenance-free unless you have uh, a stretch chain issue due to lack of maintenance from not changing your oil or if you have a catastrophic failure like a bolt breaks on a guide or a tensioner. Um, aside from that, you never usually have to worry about a timing chain unless you own a Chevy Cobalt uh, or any of the other Ecotec 2.2 motors. Uh, let's see. You know, Honda's been using timing belts for a long time on a lot of their cars. Um, some of them they've switched over to chains, uh, but some, like the 3.5, you know, a lot of them still use timing belts. So every 120,000 miles, you know, you got to get in there and replace it. It is, it does drive the water pump also. So you don't have an external water pump driven by the, uh, your serpentine belt. Uh, so usually when we're in there as the kit that we typically install, um, it has the water pump in the kit. It's got a new tensioner. It's usually got a new idler pulley also. So all that gets replaced. Um, you know, I just, I never understood the logic of people not wanting to spend a thousand dollars to have it replaced. And, you know, they'll just end up going to buy a brand new car for 35,000. You know, if you spend a little money up front, uh, the thing will last you a hundred thousand miles again. Um, just make sure you do all your normal maintenance, uh, change your oil regularly and, uh, you know, you shouldn't have any problems. Um, I'd rather have a car that's paid off instead of just constantly being in debt and spending all this money on a brand new car, you know, and then it's just makes, makes sense to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and switch over to the video that I did in the shop and uh, show you guys what's actually involved in replacing a timing belt. Thanks for watching. I'm doing a timing belt. I'm going to replace the spark plugs. I'm going to, you know, change the oil on it. Uh, and I'm putting the water pump in it with the timing belt. It comes in the kit. I recommend doing it just because if I'm in there, I'm gonna replace it. The water pump is driven off of, or driven by the timing belt. So, like I said, I'm, I'm making this video so you can see how much work is involved in doing one of these. I've done so many of these, I can do them in my sleep now. Um, so, a lot of people don't like putting the money into their car when they say, you know, you need a timing belt on it, it's over a thousand dollars to do. Uh, it's basically to show how much work you know it takes to do i'm going to go through the process of doing it basically the first thing that i like to do i just take the car off the ground a little bit and then i just take everything off on top that i do i take the plugs out immediately because that way i'm able to turn the engine over by hand without any kind of resistance on it makes it a little easier when i line up the timing marks too so the car is going to be off the ground um, Plugs are going to come out, power steering pump's going to come off, the engine mount on the passenger side is going to come off because I need to get as much access as possible to the, the belt. So I'm going to just go ahead and tear everything down and then I'll show you where we're at from there. Okay, um, I just wanted you guys to see, I got everything taken off the top on it. Um, I have the covers off so you can see, see the belt right here. Um, spark plugs are out of it and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here. So, on these, you can actually see, um, there's supposed to be a special tool so you can hold down um, the balancer while you take the bolt off. We don't have that and this bolt is frozen, it doesn't want to come loose. So all we usually do is just take a torch to it, heat it up, and then uh, we just loosen it up. So I just wanted you guys to see that before I go ahead and do it. Okay, uh, I got the motor mount off and you can see over here they actually put a bolt right here so they hide one so it's kind of a pain in the butt i always leave the bolts in i loosen them up all the way then i take it out as one that way i'm not trying to slide the motor mount off of the bolts or the bolts out of the motor mount either way um you can see the water pumps right here so 
We've got plenty of room now and everything's really easily accessible. Um, I already took the tensioner off. So as you can see, I got all the slack right here. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the belt off. And they always get a little stuck. And you're gonna have the cams move, that's normal. So we're gonna take this off right here. And that's it. I mean, the hardest part, like I said, is heating up the bolt. So if you don't have a torch, I mean, you can't use a little propane tank on one of these. Um, I've seen other guys uh, take the spark plugs out and um, put a breaker bar on the end of the balancer and then bump the engine over and have the starter kind of break the bolt loose. It does work. I've done it before. I don't really recommend doing it because if you're not careful, that breaker bar will kick out and can potentially damage the vehicle. So I'm not going to do that on a customer's car. Um, but uh, you got to have some really high powered torches. And, you know, we can see we've got a big torch tank right over here, um, the big acetylene tanks. So you're going to need something really strong to get that bolt glowing red and hot. Okay, this is the new kit that we got. I got it from Deco. Um, this kit comes with the water pump. You can see it's got the new belt. Here's the water pump. Comes with a new idler pulley, which is nice. And then, uh, let's see here, a new tensioner. So you get a brand new one of those. And it's got another. This is uh, what the tensioner rides on. Then it's got the instruction manual. They're good kits, they work really well. I've never had a problem. Deco makes good parts. Um, I got this at the Car Quest next door, so never had an issue with them. And uh, like I said, you might as well replace the water pump while you're doing these. You're in there and you don't want to have to do this later, you know, six months from now if the water pump starts leaking. So, uh, yeah, I'll take the water pump off and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so we got the new timing belt installed and you can see this little notch right here lines up right there on the, on the cylinder head. Um, the one on the back also lines up. But what I do is you have to get all the slack out of the belt on this side. Um, so what I do is this this uh, cam, I make it off one tooth on purpose, and then I take my wrench and I get it lined up properly so I take all the slack out of the belt right there. Because what happens is when you loop it around to the tensioner area, this is where you want all the slack to be. And then there's actually, the tensioner has a little pin in it, and then you pull the pin out, and then that actually pushes up on that pulley. And that's what takes up all the slack out of the belt. So getting, that's kind of the trick to getting these to line up properly. So if you look over on the balancer itself, let's see if I can get to it real quick. You can see right about 12 o'clock on that gear, it's lined up with the arrow above it so we know everything is in time. And this is what's gonna screw you up. Sometimes it takes a couple times to do it right. Uh, I got lucky and I got it on the first shot on this one. So this is why I say that it's probably not good to do this on your own and you're better off having a shop do it and a shop that knows what they're doing and can do it without error. All right, so we got the van all done. Um, I chased a little bit of a gremlin for about a half hour. It didn't wanna crank over uh, after I got it all back together and the ground that's on the power steering pump uh, It was on but it was dirty so it wasn't making good contact and that's the ground path for the PCM on this So luckily I realized that I didn't have any communication with the PCM when I hooked the scan tool up to it but uh, after I took it off and cleaned it and uh, Put it back on fired right up. So I got done bleeding the cooling system You want to get it nice and hot make sure both hoses are hot you know, this one's good for another 100,000. We got a lot of customers that have 250,000 miles on these things with no problem. Um, usually the body rots out before the end and engines fail on these things. You know, I didn't really want to make it a straight through how-to video because there, you could, there's probably 100 different timing belt videos on YouTube that you can search. Um, mine was more, you know, what's involved in replacing it, you know, how to do it the right way. I, I'm big on making sure that I give the car back, and if you looked around, it looks like nobody was in there. You know, this isn't a job that you just want to get in and out the door really fast. 
But, uh, you know, we'll keep making more videos for you guys, and uh, just like and subscribe. Thanks. See you next time.